Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, Oxide Magic, and it's Jordan here, and today we are checking out a highlight video from the Early Access stream. Thank you very much to the Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring us and allowing us to partake in the event, it was great. And today we're looking at shrines. Um, <laughs> I thought I was going to be funny, <laughs> I really was, I thought I was going to be probably the only person who thought maybe brewing around a shrine deck. But no, everybody else seemed to do it as well. Um, it was rather hilarious and it was good fun. Um... It was just entertaining. Um, so, original my original list had um, Starfield Mystic and uh, Satesian Champion in there because I figured I needed the card draw and to make them cheaper and various things like that. But I found it slowed things down quite a lot. Um, so I went back and readjusted and we stuck in Shatter the Skies to help control the boards because we really do need to. And to Fairy Time Traveler, Time Traveler, Time Raveler. Which allowed us to obviously bounce things, including other shrine decks. Um, because, quite frankly, everyone said, you know, you think that, oh, the early shrines are not that good. This one is the most powerful. This one ramps you so far ahead. Playing this on turn three is getting you, if they've got a landing hand, is getting you a five drop. If they've got the right colour lands, it's getting Sanctum of All down. Once they've got that down, things start accelerating very quickly because they're starting to cheat out extra shrines and they're going to get triggers and various other things like that. So yeah, it was all in all, it was a very good deck. Um, it was interesting. Uh, Shank Shanktum of the Tranquil White is a pretty dirtle one, but it does come in handy occasionally, um, especially if they've got one big creature you need to tap down. Uh, Sanctum of the Shattered Heights is like possibly one of the second best. It helps deal and control with the board very well, and you tend to have extra land or extra shrines in hand that you can always ditch. Um Obviously, I've got Idyllic Tutor in there to go find anything we need. Uh, but once you've got a Sanctum of All on the board, they're kind of redundant. But it's you kind of need to make sure... If you can get a turn 5 Sanctum of All down, brilliant. If you can get it down earlier, such as turn 4, even better. <laughs> but you have to see what you can do. Uh, obviously, most of the deck win con revolves around Sanctum of the Stormfang. Once you've got these triggers going off, and yeah, once especially once you've got all 6, they're, you know, beginning of that upkeep, they're losing 12 life, and it's pretty much over from there. So without further ado, we're going to get to the gameplay, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content. And yeah, please also make sure you follow us on our Facebook page where we stream, as well as our Twitter account. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Ooh, okay. Depending what we draw. I'd love another untapped land, but I don't think. Okay. Alright. New plan. Light into Fang into Harvest. Yeah. Light into fangs, into harvest, into... Can I get Sanctum out? Yeah, I can get Sanctum out. Nice. Um, mm. I'm going to play this just in case we find a board wipe. Six board wipe, please. Oh, we got green. Did not mean to get green. Mm. 
Yeah, that's a good game. Yeah. <clears throat> Obviously, he's using Basri. But yeah, green white proliferate. It's quite good. That'll certainly work with Basri's abilities quite nicely because he's going to give counters and give him indestructible and stuff like that. Fight, flight, chicken. Let us do battle. Well, this is good, apart from I don't have the right colours. But yeah, we'll try it. Oh, that was nearly a big error. Right. Right, let's get... So, Gateway Plaza next. Oh, hang on. Ozolith. This looks vaguely familiar. Deck Builder. Ah, it's in the new update. They'll be out tomorrow for you guys. It's not out yet. On the normal one. Put that many... Plus that many plus one. So, this is a... Uh... So we'll play to fairy next. Yeah. So we name white or blue. Yeah, white or blue, play to fairy, play gateway plaza. Ooh. New plan. New plan, burn the ground. Yes, I know the counters go there. Um, miss our land drop, sadly. Crystalline Giant, well, we can bounce that to hand, so we need blue or white again. First strike. Uh, let's go with blue. Bounce this. Play this. Tap this. Uh, play... We'll play Sanctum of the Shattered Heights and Tranquil Light. So that gets us more mana. And then we can just start tapping things down as well. Yeah, no, on the uh, yeah, the update that'll be out um tomorrow at some point. Don't tell, ask me what time it will be, but it's out at some point. It's like four gig, just to warn you, it's a big update. Okay, let's go with black. Um, Let's try this. Um, activate this, kill this, discard this. Now, most likely he's swinging at that Teferi because he can't risk it. I can't kill his Crystalline Giant at the moment. Oh, it's about, oh yeah, oh, Prothor does work like that. Yeah, that's a good point. An 8 8. What could we find off the top? Uh, let's go with blue. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a good game. Yep. So I can tap it down. Oh, I can tap it down. Let's just keep tapping it down. <laughs> Right. Not out of this just yet. Uh, yes, we will draw. Uh, we will discard. True. Hang on. Discard a trio. We'll add white. We add white. We bounce. This bounce that cast this. Uh, idyllic tutor find sanctum of all. Um, we can kill that. We need to Let's see what he casts. Uh, pass. Okay. Take action, draw five. Uh, discard a trium. Add uh, white. Do that. Uh, Activate this, kill this, discard this. We must regroup. Um, play trium. Right, and then we start working. Um. Yeah, search library. Uh, decline. Decline. Uh, okay. And yeah, cycle. That's about it. Okay, there we go. And that's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. So the shrine deck does work, we just have to make a few minor adjustments. Although the calyx would work as well. Just, just to, just to show dominance. Okay. And then decline. Boom. There we go. Sweet. So that deck works very well. Right. This is getting a bit slow, but have ways to get to three we can start doing stuff uh, 
Uh, we'll get green. Pro gaming mode. Okay. No deck was successfully saved. Okay. Is it saved? Make sure it's saved on the right type. Yep, yeah, it's saved. Okay, perfect. Uh, right. Okay, so Fruitful Harvest. Name Red. Actually, I probably want to ideally tutor. Um, idyllic tutor get sanctum of all now question is does he have a counter So black. Yeah, I've got one blue. Blue or black. There's a colour I have to name. No counter. One time, no counter. Okay. Yep. Teferi's tutelage. Sphinx's tutelage. Back in standard. Yes! Oh, God. Search for red, uh, blue, I need a black and a white. I've got two blacks and two whites left. Oh my god. I hate Sphinx's tutelage. I hate it. I hate it. I oh, I need whites. I have to name the white one. This is just wrong. Having this back in standard. Oh. Oh, I hate it so much. Lord. Oh, now we need a black or a white. In fact, I'm going to have to draw. Uh, 
Um, decline. I can't draw. Yeah, it's a good game. That's good game. Mill. I know I was playing Mill before, but at least, come on. This is like Mill Mill. Nobody likes this Mill. Quinton, thank you for liking the stream. Sorry, I have now, you've, sorry you've joined me at the most inappropriate time when I'm ranting about Mill. Because nobody likes Mill. Oh. Opponent, you disgust me. <sighs> uh, graveyard for white. Ah. <laughs> uh. 